I talk with a lot of people who want to use Facebook Live to reach more people, and they're looking for tools to make that process a little simpler. This tutorial is for those people. I'm Cheryl Tan with CherylTanMedia.com. In this video, I'll show you how to use an online platform, BeLive TV, to go live on Facebook, to interview other people, even to share your screen. If you're thinking about leveling up your video, we'll stick around to the end of this video. I will share a checklist that you can use to help make your videos look and sound better. On to Be Live TV. Let's take you inside Be Live TV. Go to belive.tv and click the Get Started button. I'm going to show you inside two options. The first, the solo show, where it's just you and the camera. And then the interview option where you can bring in a guest and both of you are on the screen side by side. So here for the cell option, type in the text that you'd like to share, which will go in the space above your video. Let's see, testing out a new platform. Type in your email. You can create a scheduled live, so do this in a time in the future. You can also add a custom logo, which I've done. You can see right here, I uploaded this earlier. You have the option to put this video on your own timeline, on a page you manage, on a group you manage, on an event that you've created, or a testing only option. So I'll put this in a group that I manage. So I'm gonna select one of my groups. The list is going to populate. It's waiting for some permission to access my groups. And here it is. So I'm going to put it here in my video bootcamp group. And you can see the dashboard comes up. What I like about this is you can do all of your Facebook Live work from this one dashboard. You can read some of these things, and I'm going to go over them, but click Start. And the first thing I do when I get to this dashboard is I work on the settings. Here is the resolution for your camera, and I'm just going to make this HD 720p, the highest resolution. And instead of using the default microphone or the built-in microphone with my computer, I'm going to use the microphone that's connected, which is my ATR 2100. So there, I'm going to click that and connect camera. So here I am. I'm in what you call a preview screen. screen. You can see right here, this is what will show up in my Facebook Live. I can click Start Broadcast when I'm ready. And I, no, I can also write something as a welcome or a hello. So say hello and welcome to the show. And I click this button, Show, and it'll show up right here under my face. You can see also right here is my logo, top right-hand corner. What I also like about this is I click this agenda button and if I needed some guidance, maybe some talking points, I click this plus sign on the left and I can make some notes for myself. So talk about features. Uh, I'm going to add an agenda item here and this is only seen to me. I can talk about my free guide add an agenda item, and again, this is just for me. But let's say I'd like to put my website on here, CherylTanMedia.com. I add this as an agenda item, and I click Show. And then you can uh, show some of the things that you put right here on your agenda on the screen during the broadcast. So I'm going to start my broadcast and click this button again just to make sure I'm positive that I want to go live and here I'm going live in my group and you start your live you're live you're live and you're talking and then you end your broadcast and then you're done click it again as a confirmation and all is well so I want to show you what the interview portion looks like on be live TV so I go back to the beginning be live TV click the get started button and instead of solo, I click the interview button. Let's do the same description, same email. I'm not going to create a scheduled live. I will add the custom logo. And instead of putting it on anyone's timeline, I'm just going to make this a testing 
a testing broadcast. So I'm going to create it right there. And the difference here is you'll have to share with your guest a special link so they know where to go. So I click start here, go to the settings for the camera, raise the resolution, change the mic settings, connect camera, and here I am. But here I'm waiting for my guest. So this is the link that you share with them. You copy the link and send it to them and then they will show up here once they've clicked that link. Then they'll also be connected here in your live broadcast preview and this start broadcast button would be lit. You'd be able to click that button in order to get started with your show. You'll be side by side and using this feature right here, you'll also be able to put their names underneath their pictures. This was just a look inside Be Live TV at some of the options that you have to go live using Facebook Live from one dashboard. There is a free version with Be Live TV where you'll have two broadcasts up to 20 minutes each week. And there are paid features, so you'll be able to share your screen. That is a paid feature. And using your logo is also a paid feature. Hope this gave you a good look inside this platform that you can use to create more live videos on Facebook and connect with your audience. I've also shown you inside another platform for Facebook Live that's called Ecamm Live. I'll stick the link for that video in the comments below. And as I mentioned earlier, I want to share with you a checklist that you can use to look and sound better on camera. You can get that at CherylTanMedia.com forward slash video. If you like this video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.